ChatGPT alternative. So in this video, I'm going to discuss a ChatGPT alternative which you can use uh, when you get errors on ChatGPT. For example, sometimes you get this kind of error. Sometimes it will say too many requests in one hour or network error. And sometimes if the ChatGPT in the capacity, it you will get these kind of errors and you cannot access uh, the ChatGPT free version. But if you have a paid or plus version on ChatGPT, then you can access without any uh, these kind of errors so let's uh, see what is the free alternative uh, to chat gpt so first of all uh, this alternative is free and um, uh, you, you don't need to create any new accounts so if you already have a chat gpt account you can simply use that and this is 100 percent safe so you know chat gpt is a software or a language model uh, developed by the company called open ai so i'm going to i'm also talking about the same uh, alternative uh, offered by the alter open ai and this interactive interface so like chat gpt uh, this has all this is the interface of chat gpt this also have the interface for the uh, interf interactive interface and uh, collaboration as well so with chat gpt if you want to send so let's ask me this kind of prompt so uh chat gpt will generate the response for me over here so if you want to send this kind of a uh, prompt to some users or this kind of output to somebody then you have to simply copy paste otherwise uh, there is no collaboration uh, uh, options over here but uh, in this chat gpt alternative we there is a collaboration option so that means you can simply copy paste uh, prompts to other users so, so they can actually check it and let me introduce the chat gpt alternative for you it's called as open ai playground so which is i was talking about all these features so if you want to access uh, this open ai playground you have to go to this particular website address platform.com.openai.com slash play playground so if you go to this address uh, you will see a window similar to this one so here uh, you can uh, generate uh, the responses for you uh, for example explain quantum computing in simple terms like that so before that uh, you have to know about this kind of maximum length so by default it will be set to 256 but if you are looking for like uh, the responses which have a lot of text or if you are planning to write blog post or like a lot of paragraphs then you definitely have to increase uh, this uh, token length so you can actually keep like 2500 that means so if if you set as uh, like 1000 tokens or something like that it, it actually equals to 750 words so you can uh, set your uh, maximum length over here obviously you cannot set it as like 4000 because uh, otherwise uh, your prompt has to be reduced because uh, this actually supports maximum uh, uh, some actually supports maximum 4000 but uh, that's not recommended because sometimes you will have a lot of uh, paragraphs in the prompts so then it might uh, result in some kind of errors so it's better to keep like 2000 2500 so another thing i did was um, so let me show it so you have to simply go to this website and log in with your ChatGPT account to access this uh, play, uh, playground or alternative so an interesting thing i did was so i actually asked ChatGPT to create explain quantum computing in 100 words so this is the response i got uh, when i use a uh, ChatGPT, uh, something like this and i actually give the same prompt to this open a playground and generate the response so this is the uh, response i got uh, when i use uh, the open ai so here this is around 80 words this is around 104 three words something like that and what another interesting thing i did was i actually asked chat gpt which is better response so i have two responses for uh, quantum computing uh, i this first response is uh, created by chat gpt the second response is created by this open ai so i actually asked tell me which one is better one or two it says both responses provide a good exp explanation of quantum computing however the second response provide a more detailed explanation of some of the unique properties of quantum computing such as these kind of properties and their how they can be used uh, to solve uh, complex problems uh, that the traditional computers so it also more provides a more specific those kind of things uh, so finally chat gpt says uh, so let me okay so finally ChatGPT says the second response may be considered better explanation of quantum computing so here is what ChatGPT said based on the responses uh, i created for the quantum computing in 100 words so i actually asked the same uh, prompt to the open ai playground so same prompt i have two responses tell me which one is better but this uh, actually in a different answer that means there is no definite answer as which response is better since it is uh, subjective and it says both uh, responses provide accurate information 
about the quantum computing and both uh, could be considered as good answers so this is what ChatGPT said but ChatGPT actually said uh, the second response is much better which was generated by playground uh, open ai uh, api playground so here is how just a this is just an explanation of how these uh, how you can use this open ai playground as an alternative to to chat gpt when you have uh, uh, those kind of errors so if you have any questions uh, regarding this uh, let me know in the comments uh, thank you